Good day, dear friends of the Room World, and welcome to chapter 10 of my Baron Rock playthrough. I decided to not talk that much about naked brutality and stuff like that anymore because those times are long over. We're clothed here, and uh, we're, as a matter of fact, at the brink of uh, automated security. Awesome. Awesome stuff, my friends. Um, Oh, well, I'm gonna wait until Flaze has laid down the power cords and then I'm gonna start doing the things I was planning to do. Um, meanwhile, Jane is hammering out all the steel out of that mountain. So we're, we're up with that. 260, 270-ish. So that means I have a lot of steel available. So, since the effect is on cleaning duty, uh, he's not really useful anymore. Oh. Looks like I really need to install that clean area mod, I don't know. I don't feel like uh, he's doing anything useful at this point anymore. Well, now he's researching at least. But, uh, well, researching and cleaning doesn't go well hand in hand, I, I say. Yeah, well, whatever. The automated cleaning uh, job from uh, the base vanilla game is just uh, a nightmare to, to begin with, because your colonists are not cleaning efficiently at all. If you want to do it without any mods, the best way is just to brute force uh, cleaning, clean the base with a lot of colonists. Like, have three of them at top-notch priority on cleaning, and you start to to maintain a certain level of cleanliness. I mean, there are sure tricks, like don't let your animals in your sleeping rooms, that's a big plus. But also, uh, if uh, I would drop down flagstone over all the sand, they wouldn't carry mu uh, that much sand into the rooms anymore. That would help too. But I'm not gonna pave the uh, whole desert. I have better things in mind. Okay, so I let the effect research this geothermal power now because I want to. I'm waiting for Flays to light, lay down the power cords here. And once this is all done, I'm gonna drop down my turrets. Also, why did I possibly think I would want, want it like this? Anyways, I don't know. There we go. Some minor little adjustments. I'm out of Charnakite blocks, and I. Well, I do have a lot of chunks, so whatever. Oh, we're already training that donkey full, and it's pretty well trained already. I could already release it almost. Or can I? Whatever. I wouldn't do it. That's why I'm not thinking closer about it. We're not sending baby animals onto our enemies. That's, uh... Okay, let's expand that zone a little because I feel like I'm getting more and more different resources in my pockets here. And, uh... Please. Your priorities make me sick. Your priorities sicken me. It's not really his fault if I uh, lay down too many deconstruction uh, jobs all over the map. It's my own fault if they need to, if they have the urge to follow them. So, what should I do? I need Charnakite blocks. And I need them ASAP, so I'm gonna tune Jane down from uh, mining to uh, crafting. And I just hope that, uh, well, place shouldn't be taking forever here um, to finish that job out there. I mean, there's only, what, only this area left to be deconstructed and after that, uh, these uh, tiles here, but uh, that's really not much work for somebody uh, with a uh, construction 17. Go. Let's 
so uh, now he goes repairing. Okay. Everything will be fine. Sometimes I just uh, don't understand the decisions of uh, colonists. Oh, we're having harvest time, I see. Oh, well, whatever. The last raid is, uh, has been not that long. Uh, it's not that long ago, so I'm not too concerned. So, let's protect myself from the sun a little bit. Put up a chair in defensive posture. Alright. Maybe tomorrow they'll start working at the stuff I really that I really want to get done, but uh, whatever. Day by day, a little bit further. So I'll start just planning a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go for something like this. I really like that idea. There we go. Maybe not like this. No. Here and there. Mm -hmm. Well, I need to deconstruct those. This uh, only works if the wall is long enough. Um, what I'm doing here is uh, primarily uh, establishing some um, room between those two that uh, if one of those explodes, it doesn't kill the other one. It's quite important. And the other thing I want to do is drop down some sandbags in front of them as well. Animal migration, British shorthair cats. Are you friggin' serious? We're having this the cats musical in town. Okay. So what we're we gonna do here? Those are sure a damn lot of cats. Okay. Let's uh let's go. I mean Oh, there is a Gila monster on the map. Oh, well, I can't do that. I can't do that. Killing uh, cats is sure bad luck. We're not that poor anymore, but we have a Gila monster on the map. We can finally tame something. <gasps> Lizard farm begins, friends. Lizard farm begins. Okay. We're going to see who will be able to tame that Gila. I just hope uh, the cats don't eat it. If they do, I sure wish I would have killed them, but, uh, whatever. No. The cats have left the map already. Okay. Well, that's okay for the start. Synodinus's mech threat. What do we have here? Sinodinus, Baroness of the Broken Empire, wants to uh, allow me to get myself attacked by a cluster consisting of a countdown activator, proximity activators, unstable power cells, cells mech drop beacon, that's ugly, mech assembler, not that much, auto charge turret. We will get two troopers. Seven royal favor we would get for that. Huh. Well. 
Um, I don't know, since I don't have any uh, intel about the uh, equipment of those troopers, I'm not down for that, honestly. It's uh, basically pretty simple. If the troopers are worth their uh, penny, it's quite easy. If not, it's uh, almost impossible. There we go. Let's build another uh, wind turbine because I feel like I'm not having enough uh, power here available right now. So, now I feel a lot safer. I mean, it's not entirely done yet. We're still uh, finishing it up. Like, the sandbags are not done yet and uh, all the turrets are not up yet, but uh, six turrets and uh, some line of defense like this sure make me a lot more relaxed towards what's uh, up during the next time. So, another thing I'd, I'd, I'd really like to uh, lay down would be traps in this area, but, uh, well, I don't have wood to build traps yet. Maybe when we when we research tree sowing, I'm gonna do some trees, I don't know. How much soil, uh, fertility sensitivity, ugh, yeah, sure. Cotton plants have a high fertility sensitivity. Potato plants, not so much, that's why I love them. Oh, well, rice plants too. I shouldn't plant rice out here, I just noticed that uh, I'm not doing it quite smart with the rice plants here. Um, so, I would need something with a with a low fertility se sensitivity, but uh, well, more potatoes? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, the tribe of Cal is uh, trying uh, their luck again. And they're sending naked people again. But they're all melee, so... This is a lot more dangerous than the last time. So they are attacking immediately, let's see. Let's uh, check if my defenses are actually worth anything. So first of all, the first question is, do they prefer to attack here? If they do, I need to uh, make my walls a little bit larger. But no, it doesn't look like I need to do anything here. Stuff works out as intended. Oh boys, this is so nasty what we're having here. This is a, a utter nightmare in terms to attack that. Oh, well, I'm gonna... Oh, well, I'm not gonna interfere. If they want to attack my turrets, fine. Let them. I'd rather lose one turret than uh, more colonists. Ooh, Theo, don't die! There we go. Now they, now they flee. In the wrong direction. Okay. So, that's that. Nice. Really, really nice. That was uh, quite an quite a success. So I would have one uh, prison cell and I'm absolutely willing to use it. So, Skuka, a bully and a slowpoke. Hell no. Uh, the tribe of Kel are a Kai. Oh, I'm sorry. It's the tribe of Kai. Um, the tribe of Kai are persons I don't need to release at all. Slow learner, misogynist and nudist. That's not really what you want to have in a Desert environment, gourmet, gourmand, and sanguine. Good melee fighter. How about the fighting skills of those three? Well, Skuka is quite a good, uh, a good shooter, but uh, incapable of caring. Wow, these people are just horrible. So, um, sorry for being not sorry about letting you die out there. You guys destroyed. Oh, there's Gorilla. How about Gorilla? Gorilla is depressive and a teetotaler. Oh, come on. You guys. Just, uh. Just don't get on my nerves anymore. You destroyed one of my turrets. Two of my turrets, actually. I'm mad. Nah, JK. I'm, uh. Really, really relieved that everything worked out so fine. Um, how dangerous this is for the effect oh well whatever however dangerous it might be i want uh flays to get some more medical experience because he's actually quite a horrible doctor 
so far, at least. I want to change that because he has a passion for that stuff, so... Also, it's always good to have more than one good doctor. 0.19%? I didn't even know that the game is uh, def uh, paying any attention towards uh, 0.19. Could, gotta be kidding me. For me, it would be a zero. <laughs> okay. It's quite brutal to let these people bleed out there, but uh, I don't care. I'll give them some time to think about what they did before they pass on to the next life. There we go. They'll get hauled back there to the others. So, uh, corpses now leave some stuff called corpse bile. That's a new, uh, kind of litter that is in the game now. Obviously, uh, while, uh, it obviously is, uh, getting produced while corpses are rotting. So, quite interesting. Okay, Gila monsters are, well, 2% chance of a tame revenge. I'm quite concerned about that, but uh, what can I do? Patrick, whatever, what up? Um, they have some medicine for me. I can sell one, some of those horrible weapons to them. That's good. But apart from that, I don't see anything I really can or will do. So, well, judging from what I've seen, I need I need more firepower. I definitely uh, want to think about explosives here, because I have a lot of automatic weapons already. Like, those turrets are pretty decent automatic weapons. And uh, when when the enemies come in clumps, like just before, it's really effective when you can toss in some grenades or stuff like that. Really hurts good. Anyways, um, I think I want to free up Flaze's uh, schedule quite soon to do some art. I'm a little bit sad about uh, these guys uh, being so damn bad at everything that I didn't even want to uh, imprison them. But what can I do? Problem is in this area when I can uh, when I can freely decide who to bring and not to bring. I prefer to not bring p uh, people that I consider as that weight. Because uh, out here, everybody has to carry his weight, you know? Ooh, yeah, just... I just figured that uh, we need more power. That's why I go for Geoformal power as well. I have two um, Steam Geysers here pretty uh, close and easily accessible for my colony. But overall, the funnel works. Everything is quite fine. I think I uh, misjudged it. Uh, the traps should be way more effective if I po uh, drop them down here and there, or more so here and here. Let's see. I'm even thinking about going for the investment of uh, using stone traps. Yeah, that's quite insane to go for stone traps, but hey, I have a level 17 uh, constructor. That's quite a lot. Okay, let's check out. The Charnukite Dresser is... Excellent. Oh, it has art! A donkey's curve-like. Oh, he's doing art about donkeys, let's see. Uh, an engraving on this furniture is shaped like a donkey being crippled out of bleak necessity. The donkey looks, looks destroyed. Almost every shape in the image seems to be horizontal. This image relates to the disabling of the donkey on 12th of December. Why? A donkey's curve like. Seriously, man? Whatever. It has a pretty nice beauty rating, though. A donkey's curve like. I did like the art on that dresser more. <laughs> it was sure a, a nicer piece of art. Alright, let's uh, haul these uh, smelter shingies there. 
refreshing the turrets. Still not enough power. Yeah, that's why I, did, why I don't like wind power too much. Okay. There we go, finally. The grid is getting online. Block by wind turbine. Oh dear. Oh, I screwed it up. I screwed myself up. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Some of you already must have noticed if, uh, the moment I did that. It's of course wrong if you do it like this. You have to do it like that. Oh, well, it's not no place for another wind turbine then. Whatever. That's why the uh, stuff was not sufficient anymore. Those those guys just don't learn, don't they? Okay, this time they use sappers. Um, okay. <laughs> hmm. No, that one time when I don't have a setup where I don't have where I run don't run power cables everywhere, whatever. Um this should be sufficient. <laughs> Brutal. Alright. But we're gonna do it anyways. So uh They'll destroy my walls, but that doesn't matter too much. I'm going to wait for them here. And, uh... I'm going to wait with, uh... With turrets enabled, you know? <laughs> so... Let's uh, drop her down here. So Riesling will, uh, break through that wall any moment. Riesling. A tribesman called Riesling. What the heck? <laughs> so I was just uh, dropping uh, my my guys down here. Okay. So you sappers go sap. I'm opening this door and I'm holding it open as well and I'm gonna drop the effect here there we go what are these guys doing is this the first fortress they try to attack like they are certainly uh, doing things quite horribly here okay let's uh attack those guys I mean they are just running around my fortress and uh, getting smacked basically Oh, one guy made it into the base, I see. Let's see how much damage he can do. I'm gonna uh, send Jane after them. Okay, they're attacking the... Um, the cooler here. Sure, annoying and stuff, but... Uh, still not too dangerous. My beautiful wall here, guys. Get a life. Build your own base. It's not that hard. They're almost through the wall here. Damn it. Okay. Oh, God bless. I'm actually happy with this guy uh, melee attacking Jane instead of uh, wrecking my uh, my wall further because uh, that was a costly overwall cooler here they were damaging. With these things, I don't care. <laughs> Go for them. It's okay. Destroy them. They are 
easily replaceable, but not my coolers. Stuff stops to be fun when you go for my coolers. So what do we have here? Caro. Oh, that's a real godsend. Especially for the, uh, because of the plant skill. Quite an electoral too. Good shooter. Mine. Okay. So let's, oh. Uh, set a prisoner cell here. I just noticed that I forgot about lighting in there, so. So I'll do that. So the policeman is about to capture somebody. I like that. Quite humorous. Ooh. And uh, Theophag needs a doctor really badly, but uh, that's okay. As soon as he's in bed, I'm gonna order Jane to tend. There we go. Because Jane is no longer in immediate danger. So there should be everything fine, except for the major break risk, but there's always something. Caro, oh well, we're gonna be able to save that guy, her. Um, recruitment difficulty 99%, but only a resistance remaining of 37. Pretty interesting. Flace is losing it, damn it. And Caro's gonna die in four hours. Theo, luckily, is already tended. Oh, God bless, okay. Flays, you can you you can do your thing. You're already uh, you're not needed here anymore. Jane is taking over. I gotta say, things wouldn't be as good at, without Jane here. All right. So I really want to uh, have Caro in my colony, cause uh, that's the perfect addition here for uh, my my bunch here. The uh, well. She's the first person not willing to do dumb labor, so that's not really a problem. It's pretty funny that she's a misandrist and Flace is a misogynist, so they will just love each other. Medical emergency is Carol. And uh, Industrious. Industrious was uh, the point where I definitely wanted to have that uh, colonist converted at some point. So I'm gonna clean the uh, bedrooms of those persons. There we go. And Jane, please, one more thing. Then you're done for today. Clean up that uh, prison cell as well. Because uh, Caro deserves a, a nice room. We want to uh, convince her, not force her, you know? Baron Rock ain't that bad. That's the credo here. Do we want that Gila monster? That would be the, the star to my, uh, to my, to my lizard uh, farm. Okay. Um, I thought about something. I want hay grass. What about this stuff? It doesn't have much fertility sensitivity. Perfect. Wonderful. There we go. It's gonna be for the animals. Oh, the gila is tamed. We have our first lizard. So, there we go. Finally. So, those guys are actually desiccating already out here. Oh, and, uh, well, nah. I'll, uh, build copies of those. I <laughs> still, yeah. So, uh, all that steel I dug out, already, already gone. <laughs> yeah, turrets and stuff like that, you can, you can dump crazy amounts of steel into that simply crazy amounts of steel um i want don't want to dig too close towards that ancient danger um don't know okay so flays will probably fix that quite soon a lot of raiders though seriously so many raids it's insane but I'm quite happy that uh, most of the time it's just uh, tribes people because uh, honestly they don't pose too much of a threat oh there's another pile of steel for me great um, most of the time you just uh, whack them just like I did here possibly want to um, check out to have some cover-up turrets uh, in the area of those doors to uh, have 
fallback points. But oh hey, somebody has to gather all that steel to do this, and we're not quite there yet. Overall, I feel like it's gonna be a a tough road until I have all that uh, stuff done. Uh, what does Gila's what does Gila eat? Vegetables. Okay. So my animals are still allowed to use the freezer just because I feel like they would starve if I would forbid them. So I'll rather let them have that. So, uh, if we manage to re recruit Caro, um, or once we manage to recruit Caro, um, I will get so many more, so much more done because uh, Jane is really not not that good with plants. I mean, we uh, we made her quite uh, successful at all this. But overall, I don't know. I'm not convinced. And uh, the wind is not good these days. <laughs> but it's not that far anymore towards geothermal energy, so it's gonna be not so much of a problem anytime too soon anymore. But right now, with those uh, turrets on the uh, grid, I'm sure starting to have some troubles with uh, satisfying my power needs just with wind turbines. It's uh, sure noticeable at this point. So what I'm gonna do now is to build something like this. Why not? Come on. This won't be blocking anything. So let's build another one. I can't uh, stand this anymore that I, I, I have all these fluctuations. It makes me kind of mad. All right. Hmm. Well, Flaze's needs are a little bit uh, stressed out at this point, but he's having so much mood. He's going to survive doing all this uh, just for today. There we go. I have way more uh, power on the grid now than I need. And I, oh, that's why. That's why. I forgot to connect that battery. And that one too. You guys probably noticed all the way along. I was just wondering why uh, my, uh, my power management was just not working out at all. I never paid attention that those batteries didn't get loaded. Oh, <laughs> silly me. Whatever. Just happy that I finally found the arrow. A silver meteorite. Nice. Okay. So, uh, money fell from the skies. <laughs> I do like that. But for now, I don't think I want to uh, stress out that too much. Um, do I have anybody else who's capable of mining properly? No, not really. Jane is really too busy here in this colony. Caro is uh, gonna be relieving her quite nicely, but uh... Oh well, it's gonna be a damn long time until that's done, but uh, at least Jane is now hammering away at the steel again, a little bit at least. And uh, also, well, I'm getting those turrets done little by little, okay? We're slowly getting done. But I have to say, food is way more important than uh, mining, honestly. There we go. Well, but I think the uh, overall everything defensive is working out quite nicely here. But I really want those power conduits done. Because, uh, I don't know. It's uh, quite depressing to uh, have batteries while they're not getting used. Once you take, once once you notice it, totally uh, derped that one. But now we should be having a lot less problems with the uh, power 
grid here. <laughs> oh well. Sometimes. Okay. What about Caro now? Um, well. Caro needs f clothes. Alright. So, let's tailor her. A t-shirt, a pan, pair of pants, and everything. Am I material restricted right now on any of those? No. Okay. So Jane will do some tailoring. Beware. Jane is doing tailoring. Um, I'm gonna do that mainly because I uh, will recruit her quicker when she's not unhappy. So... Because right now the uh, recruitments are going uh, along slower because she's uh, having bad mood. Let's change that. And being naked is a real downer. I mean, imagine being uh, a prisoner and being naked all day. So I'm not going to react to that uh, mech threat thing because I don't feel like uh, fighting it here. I'm right now quite happy that for some odd reason I'm really uh, surviving uh, all these uh, raids during this day. Like, I don't know how many people I've uh, had to uh, fend off at this point, but sure, they were a lot. Okay. So let's see. I hope Jane uh, will not hate me too much for the stress I'm putting her through. Oh well. She's just running a little bit hungry here. Okay. I don't want to uh, force Jane to do more now. So Flay's picked up the new duster. I don't mind him. Cloth t-shirt, camel hide pants, and uh, now I'm gonna send him drafted over here. Sadly, you can't uh, just give your uh, prisoners clothes for whatever reason that is. The game forces you to take this weird uh, workaround. So Caro starts to uh, wear these things now, little by little. But uh, yeah. Oh, we're not having tables in here. Well, this is uh, not so much a, of a problem for the other guys, but uh, for Caro it is. Okay, first off, I want to drop down the table here before I forget it again. <laughs> I have so many different stones at my disposal. So, let's uh, get out of the bed. Mm, 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 mm. Come on, Carol. Why are you doing this to yourself? There's steel. Let's oh, stun her. Headshot, sure, dude. Permanent gunshot injury. Great. So uh, we completely uh, wrecked her here, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, let's see how horrible it is. Permanent gunshot uh, injury. Well, oh well. And that's what you get if you're trying to do a prison break. So. Can somebody please feed her, at least, so she doesn't uh, go nuts here like that? Ok, 
Okay, I don't know what he, what the uh, gunshot, inj gunshot injury will do, but uh, well. she sure uh, will be uh, marked by this for the rest of her life. But oh well, it didn't have to be like this. Honestly, it didn't have to be like. Okay. Hmm. Oh well, there's the new uh, harvest. I was already a little bit concerned about uh, the food situation here, but it looks at like everything sh seems to be fine. So Caro is having some infection. Oh. Fun just doesn't stop here, I gotta say. Fun just doesn't stop here. Well, I want Jane to do that treatment because I don't want to uh, ha risk anything here. So... I'm gonna drop her to medical, uh, to herbal meds now because usually uh, one dose of meds with this kind of 10 quality and bed rest is more than enough to uh, withstand an infection. So, well, still gonna take a damn long time until we have uh, Carol recruited, but overall I don't mind because it's a good training opportunity for Jane. And, uh, well, once we're, get, we're there, I'm gonna be quite happy to have her on the colony. But overall, I feel like I am having some trouble sustaining all these animals in my colony. That's one thing I start noticing, that uh, the donkeys are quite uh, resource intense um, with the feeding. Like they're eating, we're, e we're, we're eating way more uh, crops right now than we're producing, so that's something I really need to take care about during the next time. So probably gonna be using more of that area here and more of that area here as well. So this will uh, help to some degree. So there's gonna be potatoes everywhere. Also here. Let's call it new growing zones. Because you can't grow anything in the sand. It's sad, isn't it? All right, so I have some hay grass cultivation here. Oh, well. We're gonna drop down more potatoes even here. And so, let's, uh, oh well. They were all really horrible at that work, but I don't care. I want it to be done. Royal Tribute Collector, it's the aunt of uh, Theofact, okay. Well, well. Anyways, my friends, it's time to wrap up this episode at this point. Um, I hope you are enjoying the series at least as much as I do. So far, everything out here is uh, working out quite fine. We're still only three people slash four, but uh, overall, things seem to work out quite nicely here. So, feel free to drop me any comments about this series if you like to, or even give me a thumbs up or a subscription on my channel if you want to help out me and my work. If none of those, just let me thank you for watching another episode of mine, and I hope you had enough fun to come back for the next one too. Until then, my friends, take care, enjoy your time, and goodbye.